this is a Willem Dafoe film pitch to, to be clear, to let you know where this is headed. At first, I thought, what if there was a movie called Chatterbox where Willem Dafoe's vagina could talk? Googled it. It's a real movie from the 1970s. It's already out. Then I thought, what if there was a movie where Willem Dafoe is obsessed with nipples and palm trees? And the movie is called Nipples and Palm Trees. And he's just like, nipples, palm trees, give me more. Nope. (laughs) It's a real movie. Nipples and palm trees. You can Google it. It's already out. So I got desperate and thought of Willem Dafoe being as desperate as I am to come up with a movie idea only to have it get stolen. So he, Willem Dafoe, this is how the movie, this is a weird movie. The movie is called Captain Tummies. And (laughs) Mm. (laughs) you're already sold. This has got the greenest light in the land. (laughs) So it's I don't I appreciate that I I feel like the concept is probably the light is so green it's going ho 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 <laughs> the concept I know it's it's got a ring to it but I am famous for having good names for things or good concepts and then just blowing the execution just totally ruining the execution so we'll see I'm the opposite way I've flawless execution of terrible ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm remembering a time we were on a panel together at PAX and I put together a, a cartoon introduction to the new Bit Trip game and everyone in the audience was just silent. They're like, was that supposed to be funny? What was that? And then you came out with a video of you wearing a Getty Lee mask, just like shaking around a little bit. And they freaked out. You were like, so Jonathan spent like three months making this cartoon and everyone's like, uh. And then you're like, why are we here? Because we're here, roll the bones. <laughs> oh my god, he's got the mask on! <laughs> he's moving a little to the music. This was <laughs> ten years ago, and he's talking with with a grudge in his voice. No, no I, right? learned, I learned of that. Now own... we're starting to get to the root of what's really at hand here. It was a really funny video. I was laughing hard, too. It's really good. You, you, you like walk over a little uh, like bridge over a stream or something, and you're like looking at the camera. It's really. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm jealous, of course, but I I'm not begrudging the quality of the video. It was very funny. It was one of my favorite videos I ever did. It doesn't exist anymore. No. Yeah, it was hosted on Destructoid.com's dis, uh, bespoke player. Oh, so right. that's long gone. I tried putting it on YouTube once, but this was back when music was outright muted. And it ruined the entire video. And, and <laughs> so it's I no just a silent a movie? Yeah, it was just silent. <laughs> so I no longer have a copy of it, unfortunately. It I think though. there is a video of the panel itself that somebody in the audience took. So there's a video of a video. And I would cherish the opportunity to watch the video of a video of you being Getty, Lay, Getty Lee to roll the bones. I would. Sorry, I got off track. So, a a movie starring Willem Dafoe called Captain Tummies. Well, sort of, sort of. Thank you for bringing it back to that. So, posters everywhere. Movie theaters saying, we know that there is a stay-at-home order. We know you're supposed to shelter at home. Not anymore. Order is lifted. Captain Tummies must see Cure for COVID-19. End of all your problems, Captain Tummies, for free. So this movie is promising to be the cure for for COVID. Captain Tummies, starring uh, Chris Klein. Do you remember Chris Chris Klein from uh, movies like Election and uh, what else was he in? The Street Fighter Chun-Li movie? Do you know who I'm talking about? I, I, I vaguely recall Chris Klein. It might be his name. He might have a different name too. I'm not even sure. So it's Chris Klein as a superhero, Captain Tummies. It's the whole cast of Election reunited. So Matthew Broderick is there as the villain. Reese Witherspoon is the uh, so even more powerful than Captain Tummies, but mysterious wild card. It's very exciting. So everyone goes to the movie and they uh, can't wait to have all of their problems cured. And uh, the movie starts. <laughs> it's the star wars music and it says captain tummies with the star wars scroll but in the audience 
of the movie, Willem Dafoe gets up and says, What the fuck? That's my idea! You stole it, you shits! And people are like, what? Is that Willem Dafoe they all turn on their, their camera phones and turn on the light thing? You son of a bitch! I'm gonna tear your throat up for this, Chris Klein! And, was, and it happens somehow in every theater across the land that's playing it. Willem Dafoe gets up at every... <laughs> And it, He's at every showing. <laughs> yes. Well, it, uh, I don't know how it works. It's a Five space-time times continuum a thing. Day. Yeah, constantly. You fuck. You know, very mad. And uh, <laughs> and then a camera crew is there and starts shooting Willem Dafoe live. And then everything Willem Dafoe does is broadcast on the screen. That's the actual movie. Is Willem Dafoe being mad <laughs> that Captain Tummies was his idea? And he goes to Chris Klein's house. Bangs on the door. You shit. Get out here right now. I'm gonna touch ya. I'm gonna grab ya. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of you until you explain how the fuck you got my idea for Cap. Tain. Tomb ease. And he's like, what? Oh, and Chris Klein's at the door. What do you mean? I, did, I didn't have the idea. I was just the actor. Cap. Tain. Tomb eyes. That was my idea. And then he whips out a storyboard for his movie. Which is about a, a, a cap, a hat, <laughs> with a tain uh, that's there to entertain you. Tain for oh short. Oh my god. Tombs for eyes. Captain Tomb. Tomb eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Klein is... Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a dad joke in the end. Chris Klein... This is what I thought of, and I'm not, again, I'm not confident with this. He just starts licking the storyboard. Being like, oh, movie, movie. And <laughs> I know, maybe, maybe you're back in now. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm no, real. I know, I'm in. Okay. And uh, Defoe is like, you don't lick my shit. You lick my shit. And then you can guess what happens after that. I'm imagining he lays a dump. Yeah. And he wants Chris Klein to lick it, but he won't. Because he he's got self-respect. Like he's, that he's... scene in Step Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot like that, yeah. Yeah. The end. Lick, That's... lick this shit. <laughs> lick this shit. It's like Step Brothers. <laughs> Which they also stole. God damn, Will Ferrell. I'm going to settle his hash. I think it would be fun if... If we fade to black over Willem Dafoe, just trying to convince him to lick the shit. And, you know, the credits run, the whole credits run. Willem Dafoe, the back, lick that shit. Come on, lick it. <laughs> wow, you're, you're running with that part of the idea. Lick that shit and we can rule the city, Chris Klein. <laughs> just, but, uh, you know, just credits, you know, black, white text, real simple, classy. Real classy. Fade in, fade out. It's a small crew. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... Obviously, we'll need some time for the international translators, but... At the very end of the credits, it says Captain Tommy's will return in Moonraker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't... I have no ground to stand on. It was my idea. It was bad. I tried. Some of it was all right. But uh, now you guys well, are adding to we're it. We're just punching it up a little bit. That's all. Sure. This is a team effort. I appreciate it. It needs the help. It needs the oh, work. Jonathan, why. I'm in romantic love with you. No, not really. You, I definitely lost some points with you on that one. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get him back someday. 